evening, dear televiewers, and welcome to the 7 p.m. flash on Reflet Africa Television. We take you to Cameroon, where the Bar Council gets an interim president. Barista Tangana Bikona Claire has been named the interim president of the Cameroon Bar Council after an extraordinary meeting of Bar Councils yesterday, October 7, 2020, in Yaoundé. It is noted that Barista Tangana Bikuna Claire is the oldest member of the Bar Council. The constitutional designated nomination comes after three days of the death of Barista Chakunte Party Charles, who was the president of the Bar Council. Barista Tangana Bikuna Claire held the position of the representative of the president of the central, south, and eastern regions of the country. Barista Chakunte Party died last Sunday in France after a health demise. In the education domain, a scholarship fund worth 18 million francs CFA has been given to the best outstanding students in the Ndonga Mantung Division in the Northwest region. Pupils and students in the division who recorded outstanding results in the first school living certificate and the GC examinations in the grammar, commercial, technical, and vocational training education back scholarships ranging from FCFA 50,000 to FCFA 150,000. The award began yesterday, October 7, in Misaje subdivision, and the students of Accor will be acknowledged today, while Nzo subdivision will be visited tomorrow. The scholarship Fun is an initiative of an elite of the subdivision called Fulcalistus Gentry. On to Cameron culture, Ate Bazo, renowned Cameron English speaking musician, has declared his intention of contesting for the post of the chairperson of the board of di directors of the Cameron Music Rights Corporation, Sonakam. He announced his candidacy Tuesday, October 6, during a press conference in Yaoundé. The position being contested for is held by renowned French-speaking musician Sam Fan Thomas. Elections for the new board chair is scheduled for October 24, 2020. It is noted that no English-speaking artist has ever held the position of chairperson for the board of directors. And the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, on Monday lifted the sanctions imposed on Mali following the August 18 coup. It is a huge relief, isolated since the army ousted President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita for the former French Sudan can finally get back to its feet. Since in a declaration of head of state and government, ECOWAS decided to lift sanctions including the closure of land and air borders with other countries in the community area as well as suspension of financial flows. Consequently, the regional body is calling on all bilateral and multilateral partners to support the vast country which is prey to the jihadist threat. ECOWAS decision is motivated by the significant progress towards constitutional normalization. Indeed, the West African presidents had demanded, among other things, the limitation of responsibilities of the vice president of the transition, the withdrawal of provisions allowing him to replace the acting president, and the specification of the duration of the trans transitional period. In this document signed by the president of Ghana, Nana Akufo Ade, also, current ECOWAS leader of the regional institution said it had received on October 1st the Charter of Transition, which takes into account its recommendations. And still out of the country, eight Ethiopian migrants have been killed in the ocean. The International Organization for Migration, IOM, has confirmed at least eight Ethiopian migrants died 12 and 12 others missing off the coast of Djibouti. They died after being forced off the boat by smugglers, according to the report from the agency. The victims from a number of 34 mainly Ethiopian and Somalia migrants seeking to return to Africa after attemp attempting to find work in the Arabian Gulf made even tragic to recent wave in Africa in Djibouti. And these survivors sat in the water for nearly two hours struggling to make out the coasting the course ahead. He also added that five were injured today and are receiving medical treatment at the IOMS response center in Obok. While thousands of African migrants remain stranded, Yemen authorities fear some of those may be waiting for a chance to recross the dangerous waters, many already brave to get to the Arabian Gulf just months ago. Thus, the prospect fatalities comes in the week ahead. 
Ladies and gentlemen, it is with this news that we, we draw curtains to the end of the 7 p.m. flash on the Reflect Africa television. Thank you for your kind attention.